body aching, sore of heart, Geiger counters off the chart, Cast and Caravan's got the cure. Alternative medicine products that will fix you up for sure. Cast and Caravan is currently doing business next to the old cemetery near Covenant. Come on down and see for yourself. You won't be sorry. Body aching, sore of heart, Geiger counters off the... Sweet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Locks really strong. Where is that infernal bus? I've been waiting here for so long. I could just walk, I suppose. But my feet were tired. When I saw this bus stop, and I figured it'd be faster if I just wait.
die. No way to pick this. Here and sit.
How's it going? <clears throat> I carry the highest quality alternative medicine products you can find in the Commonwealth today. Interested? So you're a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Traditional medicine is adequate if that's all you have, but I offer something much, much better. Traditional medicine cures you today. Alternative medicine can improve your overall health and vitality forever. It's true. Trust me. Use my healing preparations often enough and you will see an improvement in your overall health. Got a question for you. Say you find a little kid uh, in a cave. He's all alone, hasn't eaten in days, scared to death. When you walk up to him, you can see he has a nice little collection of stolen goods. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Hmm. Sounds like something a synth might say. Sympathetic instead of irritated. But my gut tells me you're human. Where are you headed? Why do you ask? Curiosity. I need a partner. Someone to watch my back? I'll give you a discount on my products in 200 caps if you'll join me. I need to get off the caravan trail. And I need to... do something else. And you know, you hear about all this cool stuff in the Commonwealth, but when all you do is bust your ass on the road, you never see it. I think you need to sweeten the deal. I like your style. I'll pitch in another 200 caps. So, will you take my offer? Team up with me? So, give me the details. There's not much to tell. The name's Kasdan. Heather Kasdan. Been on the road my whole life. Been training with weapons my whole life. If something is going on in the Commonwealth, I know about it. Traders love to gossip. I have a newspaper article for you to read. I don't want to talk about it, but it did get out, and it was me. Thought you might like to know why I'm trigger happy around synths. Oh, one more thing. I've got a transponder for you to carry. Flick it on, and I'll be able to track you if we get separated. That's it. That's all I've got. It's time to rock and roll. What's <clears throat> up? What's on your mind? You can never trust a synth. If you run into one, kill it. And if it looks like a human and you aren't sure, kill it anyway. What's on your mind? If we see any mutated fern, grab it for me, would you? One place in the Commonwealth where it doesn't grow. What's on your mind? Know what we should do when we get to Diamond City? First thing? Noodles. We can take care of business after that. That was it. Got it. I heard you cleared out Concord. You did good.
Raiders jumped us. You gotta help. <clears throat> Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Hey. Hey there, name's Naya. If you want to buy some someone to talk to, girl, just five caps per session. I heard you cleared out Concord. You did good.
Only one of us survives this! And it won't be you! I had no choice. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing... ...out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lie. Ah! You open this 
escape right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public Occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to you about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother time in city security for help. Listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there's uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons comes up? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. 
Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Lock and load! <laughs>
kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Read the public and be prepared. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seats. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. <laughs> You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. 
There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? A man took Sean. Not some shadowy group. I hope that's true. Because if they are involved, everything gets worse. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. <laughs> Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. may be constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. I didn't ask for company. Leave. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just <laughs> it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You Nick McDonough, with your razor, he bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Well, hello there. For a haircut, the Another one of the, the poor room. and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? The poor and stupid? Oh, don't act like you don't know. There's two types of people in this town. The stands and everyone beneath us. I know everyone in the stands, and that doesn't include you. Now, why don't you make yourself scarce? Who are you, anyway? Anne Codman. Of the Codman family? Of the Upper Stands? If you haven't heard of us, that just shows how unimportant you are. Now, were you leaving or not? Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. There's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if it was you. Vale, she must go. Do yourself a favor and just say What yes. are you saying? It's vale, all she must understands. Go. Yes? Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality 
from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Not looking to buy right now. No problem, Monk. on me. Yes. Thanks for the noodles. You're that new girl, right? Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, whatever, or, but the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches, install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Not right now. Sure, no pressure. Excuse me. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't I? A synth looks just like a person, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Just browsing for now. Yeah, sure. Hi. Prescriptions filled right here. Anything you need. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job. One? Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Radaway. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. All right. How about 125 caps? Come on. Make it worth my while, Solomon. You are one righteous talker. 150 caps. I'll walk out right now if you don't make me a real offer. 200. That's all I can pay. I swear. What do you need again? Mutated fern. Here it's dynamite for making radiation meds. You interested? Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Nice night, huh? Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles across the Commonwealth. Hey, are you all right? Sorry, I can't talk right now. Hey, Doc. 
A new file to book? Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Patch me up, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Never mind. We're done. Fine. Come back later. Hell of an animal you got there. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting What are my options? You name it. Shave, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Sure. Maybe a new color, huh? Sit down, let's take a look.
Becky is so stuck up. You'd think she was selling pre-war clothing in perfect condition in that basement of hers. Snip, snip, and bam, you're beautiful. Okay. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Why buy just an ordinary need piece of scabber? wood? A swatter. Newcomer, is a custom made piece of huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. If you want you to there. You need a genuine, authentic, custom made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. It used that this whole place was a stadium, and two teams would play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats, and, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers, big brutes of guys, uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms, you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies, an all-female team, with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm, highest kill count in the league. Ha, I could spend all day talking about Encore Crushers oh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Sounds like fun. Bet your socks it was. Now, how about you pick up a little memento in the form of a genuine swatter? Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A hundred caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal? You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on. Show me you're serious. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps a piece and that's it. Take it or leave it. What did you need again? Simple. Go to the old Westing estate and look for a baseball. A baseball card and a baseball mitt with signatures on all of them. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Need a drink. Coca Cola.
done with the real Riley. Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. I need you to step away, Scabber. Holly. Can't tell you how many times damn I've seen waste this kind of, of life thing. is what you it know, is. You can't trust anybody when anybody could be a sin. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn. And that's the moose. You just gotta eat. A real. Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. I forgot you were there yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> What's your story? He is Mercenary, dead, caravan uh, now guard. Let me know when you're ready to work. You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're... So, you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around, Hawthorne. Yeah, take it easy. Ah, yes, you. Famous bobber of liquor, on tap all day. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just for, uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. Let me think it over. Eh, your call. Oh, a customer. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. I'll think about it. Yeah, sure. You read the paper. Damn sense. Hiding among us. Hi there. You can order drinks and food. 
Who owns this bar, anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, the Dean Bobrov is the loud one, Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one, and I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. Let me think it over. All right, hon. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing from the neighbor. Look, just leave me alone. Nice pit boy. You need a haircut. Dr. John is super small. Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never! Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Only if you throw in some more money. Fine. Pay you 125. I think you can do better than that. Right for the hard bargain, huh? 150 caps. Last chance. Make this worth my while, or I walk. I'll be by the short hairs here. Two hundred caps. That's all I have. What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the threat. God bless this city. God bless the wall. Ferals are smarter than you think. I'd say their brains are rotted away, but I've seen them set up ambushes around dead Mayor bodies. McDonough. I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. All right, old timer. I've told you a thousand times before. No one wants to listen to that crap. Turn it off. Zip. Every fucking day. You still have no clue what I'm saying, do you? Fine. Forget it. They don't pay me enough for this shit. We buy and sell everything to everyone except sins. No sins allowed here. Gon Kai Hondan. Come again? Shangdi, Nitin Kilai Zhang Yigi, Wan Zeng De Bai Chi.
need some you custom got? hardware? Does it need kind of free work? Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to... He's always wearing that old hat and... He's... hurry. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now.
Head on inside. Yes. Text. What? Who's Text. there? Benicky. Oh. What's that? 
And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsor. Someone there. Something there. <clears throat> no fight today. I hear something! No more hiding for you! What the fuck was that? Nice place.
Don't think I can pick this.
of Mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held. I was on a trip to see my grandson. He wasn't home. What? Neither was anyone else. This is gonna be fun. To be fair, I'm not sure how long it took to get there. I lost track of time. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. Huh? Time to get. <laughs>
So, wonder what kind of evil shenanigans Vault Tech got up to in here. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of Union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. <laughs>
Where'd you go? How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. everything to find me. Just a private eye. What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, but not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the priest, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. Sorry when they got outside. Well, it's nice and safe. Hold on, I hear something. There they are. How do you want to play this? The job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long? Huh? Hey, Dino, quick rest that detective and get down here. Fucking look. <laughs>
There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am 
am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where, where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, sense and let us walk still for two weeks in the hole. Smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Better get out of here fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 